Church for inviting, the, inviting us as parents first, as a president of an association, Clara Association in France, and as a case law. Thank you. <laughs> so, well, it's, uh, so I will just start to say, well, it was supposed to be a testimonials, so uh, I have to rush back in the past, in the year 1999, and uh, where as uh, an infantile couple, well, I am the infantile person. <laughs> okay, we followed the path which has been shown a few minutes ago by, uh, by someone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, everything went very well. It was in uh, LA, in, uh, sorry, in uh, California. <coughs> First we were in LA, but then in California. And uh, this is part of the result. <laughs> <laughs> so we were very happy parents. It was, I would say, surrogacy. You all know, but maybe I must, I can repeat it. It's a question of trust, it's a question of love, and it's a question of family, and nothing else. Okay? So, but I'm sure you are all convinced here because uh, uh, I recognize this small world. And, um, but, so um, what I have to add is to pass the, the micro to my daughter because she's the most important person to speak about surrogacy. <laughs> Thank you, Sorella. Hi, It is working? Do you hear it? to have more than two parents and to have a surrogate. Well, in fact, it's really simple. Like my mom said, it's just about love and family. So. <laughs> so, my experience is uh, there is a huge gap between um, everything in my life with my we, I know they are my parents and everything is okay and I'm doing great, I think. And <laughs> the rest of the world, in, in France, where like, they are not recognized as my parents and we are trying to fight to be recognized as a family, like everyone else. Like, I am both uh, really normal 
I really know more girl and I am really um, alone and different because of that because uh, the decisions and all those institutions uh, we talk about makes you feel different uh, to fight for something that you don't choose. I didn't choose to be born by surrogacy. Uh, I didn't choose to be in this family. Uh, I don't think it, it, anyone chooses uh, the families they're born in, but I'm really happy to be born with my two parents because uh, they really love me. And it's hard to see that this is not uh, recognized and we have to fight. We uh, it's been 18 years and it's not over. I had like my French passport two years ago. That's so strange because I've been living in France my whole life and I was not even French. Uh, a French citizen. So there is a really, really huge gap. And um, I had I to prepare a speech and of course, I forgot it. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want to say. Yes, yes, I'm speaking on the behalf of every surrogate born person. I think I'm the one of the oldest one in French because it's very new. And thanks to the association of my parents, uh, there are more and more babies uh, who are born every every year and I think that's great because uh, everyone deserves to be a parent and everyone deserves to be born in a, in, a, in a family that wants you and loves you even when uh, even when they are wait, waiting for you to be born and you understand <laughs> <laughs> but um, to speak about a little uh, to speak a little bit about the institution and some the co Supreme Court and, uh, and everything about that. I don't really understand this because to me it's really simple. They are my parents, we are family and that's it. And that's the end and now I want to go, uh, with, go out with my friends and have fun, but it's not. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, uh, that's not a worry about this. Sometimes there are dark times. Uh, there are times where I've seen my mom cry and when I've seen them really, really, really sad because of decision things telling them uh, again and again and again that they are not my parents and I don't think that being born by surrogacy is something to be sad about but uh, seeing uh, the way uh, the institution treats you and makes you feel uh, not like a person but only as a merchandise and a number and a concept and not a real human with real feelings and a real family. Uh, that's something that we should be uh, all worried about and that should be the main focus actually when we talk about surrogacy. Uh, we should be th thinking about the children because uh, it's about uh, it's about make, uh, having uh, having children and we are already <coughs> and there are more to come uh, to come I hope so and so we cannot be born and exist in a world that doesn't recognize us and we I really don't want any more children to um, be humiliated and not recognized by some kind of, I don't, I don't even know what the name of but institution that's not uh, a good And to be, uh, and to see people taking uh, in my name when I have, I have never met them in my life and telling me that, saying that uh, because you're born through surrogacy, you should have problem, you should be confused and no, no, of course you have question, but Thankfully, your parents and they are they are here to uh, to uh, answer this this question and to show you that it's really simple and you don't have to be um, to um yeah uh, uh, um, sometimes. Uh, it really, really shows that some institutions uh, don't care about us 
and they don't even hide or detail. Uh, they care about me or anyone born through surrogacy, and I think that if, if they should change that, you know, it's it's a we are all human and we are all and we all have feelings, and it's about empathy and love, and so. I don't know, it's so much it's so much simpler than in my head that in real life and I sometimes uh, I don't understand why it is working like that and or why it, it's it is taking so long for us to be recognized as a family. And yeah, it's, sometimes it's not about I, I as I'm saying it's all about love and family and I can see this is about um, it's, it's about ignorance and um, I can even say it's about age <coughs> that's, that's not normal. Thank you. 